All right, everybody, welcome to this week's uh, weekly software workshop. We're going to go ahead and give uh, the attendee list a second here to uh, slow down, and then we will go ahead and get started with our agenda. All right, everyone, this is the attendee list has started to slow down, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, for those of you who I have not seen on here before, welcome. This is our uh, weekly software workshop that we do every Thursday. Um, we take bite-sized pieces out of the software. Uh, my name is Mason Wells. I'm the manager of customer success here at eTruckBiz. Um, just so you know, this webinar is a little bit different than our typical one that we do on Tuesday. This one's a little bit more laid back. Um, we do make it so that you can unmute yourself and ask questions as we're going, so please feel free to put questions in the Q&A, in the chat, or unmute and ask questions as we go, um, because I'd rather have your questions be answered as I'm going, um, rather than you or I forget what that question was and, uh, and miss it, and, and, uh, miss it um, when we need that question answered. So with that in mind, today we're going to go over, this is a line hall topic, um, we're going to go over analyzing your settlement statement in the BOSS system and utilizing that statement, that the settlement analysis email that you get for payroll. Um, for line hall, that settlement analysis email is excellent for running your payroll. Um, if you've got all of your payroll, um, how much you pay your drivers and things like that, input into our system. So I'm going to show you how, how that works and what that looks like, okay? Um, and some upcoming topics. For the next couple of weeks here, we've got um, a, our monthly recap next week. So we're going to go over... Uh, if you have P and D, um, we're going to go over um, we're going to go over the all new e route, the all new boss dashboard, and then again go over this analyzing your settlements that we're going to go over today. Um, and then the week after that is finally Fourth of July, um, and then after that we're going to go over some time definites and utilizing the op metrics to enhance your operations. So, with that Nathan. in mind, yep. I can't see your screen. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Ta-da, thank you. There we go. So there's today's topics. There are your upcoming topics. I was jumping the gun, Lori. Thanks for letting me know. Um, let's see here. There's our upcoming topics. And... Um, here's also my contact information, so if you have questions, comments, concerns, if you want to know more information about, uh, I know today we're going over line hall. if you want, have any questions about line hall software or uh, line hall services that we have, as well as P&D, uh, just reach out to me at this information and we will get, I will, if I don't know the answer, I will get you to the person that does, okay? So with that in mind, we are going to go... Um, to the BOSS system here. So for those of you who have not been in here yet, um, this is the BOSS system. We're going to log in using um, a, a customer of ours who has um, uh, p and and line hall. Um, and so we're going to log in as today. Um, so that way you can see the system with live data in it. Um, he's been with us for since the uh, inception of eTruck is, so he's got a lot of data in here, so it makes it easy for us to show what everything looks like. Once this in progress goes away, and this is what your screen looks like, if you have P and E, um, this is what your screen is going to look like when you first get into the system. It's going to retrieve that um, that information from from FedEx that has today's information in it. If you want to go someplace else, you don't have to wait around for this to be done loading. You can go anywhere else in the system. But for those of you who are just line haul, this is what your screen will look like when you get in here, okay? Um, this, this particular contractor, um, he does have his drivers using the Line Drive app, which is our line haul driver app. 
um, and those drivers are putting in um, runs into their app. So they are doing an assembly checklist here. So they are putting in that trailer number, taking a picture of it and that seal. I've been going through every time they hook up um, and taking pictures. So that is something that is in, available in the driver app for line haul. Um, so this is what your main screen would look like if that is what your drivers are doing. But today we're gonna go over your settlement analysis. So if you go in here um, and open up your menu, you're gonna go to settlement analysis. And um, here, there we go. So your settlement summary will look like this, okay? So for this particular contractor, he only has the one line haul contract. Um, some of you might have multiple line haul contracts, especially if you're strictly a line haul co uh, contractor. You may have more than one. If that is the case, you, it, you, it is going to separate. You can separate them out by location as well. So if you've got multiple settlements in here for the same week ending date, you would want to filter that out. Um, and it's going to show you their, their t the week ending, the location, and all the trip spots, any p and they might have had, and the adjustments. It's going to pull everything out for you and show you in a nice, neat format. Um, everything that was important on that settlement summary. But you can also click into it, and it's going to show you um, a couple of different options in here, okay? So these, any of these times that you see these charts in here, um, there's a couple of things you can do with them, okay? So in this situation, you're going to see uh, percent utilization by truck. So each one of these trucks, you're going to see it's, it's utilized, this particular truck that week was utilized 36.92%. This one was 86.72. Um, anytime you want to um, manipulate the chart, you can view it in full screen, you can print it, and you can download it in all of these uh, formats. So um, if you want to pull it out and show it to someone, you can do that as well. And anytime um, you get into one of these charts and you want to see the chart, like zoom into the chart, you can um, left click with your cursor and drag in like this and it will zoom in. This is really beneficial when we get into some of these other, um, there's a bunch of other uh, views you have here. You'll see in a second, it gets very busy. Um, total miles and amount by truck. Um, this one's somewhat easy to see and view. Um, this is, yeah, total miles and amount by truck. So miles, settlement amount. So this gives you by truck as well trip miles and amount by leg. So this is one of those charts that gets a little busy. So in this situation, you would want to drag in so you can see a little bit more in more detail here. Okay. Trip miles and amount by truck. So again, um, this is going to show you the miles. Set all that amount by truck. Trip miles and amount by driver. This might be one of those ones you want to zoom in a little bit better. There we go. Uh, spot miles and amount by ADR. And again, you're seeing this is just for this particular week, the 8th to the 14th. Um, if we would have chosen one of these other ones in the background, these numbers would all be different. Um, there we go. And spot miles and amount by truck. Okay. So this just gives you an idea as far as um, each one of these, each one of these, um, the views you can see, you know, a lot of different information based on what you want to see. This just is very beneficial for, for drilling down into that settlement for your line haul um, settlement to be able to see where, where that money is getting paid out. Um, and making sure everything looks correct. Okay. Any questions so far about any of these any of these views? All right. and again, if you have any questions, feel free to unmute yourself, put it in the chat, put it in the Q and A. Um, the other part of the boss system. Um, you can view more dates than this. So if you want to go back a little bit further, um, 
there is more information in here. It just defaults to the last four, three, four weeks. Um, if you want to go back and look, and you can export this all as a CSV as well. Um, if you go to the per mile analysis, what this is going to do, we go back. There you go. A little less. Only seven settlements in this one. So um, if we go um, into the per mile analysis, what this is going to do is on the left hand side, you're going to see trip information. On the right hand side, you're going to see spots. Um, Overall, for this date range, you're going to see how many how many miles you ran during that time, how much you were paid out for that. Again, over here, same thing, miles and amount. And then in this particular situation, it is by driver. Um, so each of these drivers, you can see how many miles uh, and how much that settlement amount was paid out. Okay, you can also view it by vehicle. Here are all the vehicles. And again, it's showing you from the 3rd to the 20th, so you are going to see 3rd, 10th, 17th. So you are going to see all of that information aggregated here. Um, same thing for over here. Um, this is also by vehicle. So there are a couple of different ways to view this. Um, you can view just this particular vehicle. Okay, so during that time frame, this is how many, th these were the amount of miles and settlement amounts for trips for that particular truck, and also its spots, um, and it was apparently only did spots in one settlement for that, that time frame. And if you wanted to go by driver, the, the per driver does not have a filter, um, but I believe that they are going to be adding that in. Okay, any questions about the per mile analysis? Okay, so the last thing that we're going to go over today is that um, email that, that does get sent out. When we process your settlements, um, this is what comes out. Um, you, you get all of that information in the BOSS system, but then also you do get an email that gives you an analysis for that particular settlement. And what we were, I was talking about before is you can use this to uh, be able to figure out what your payroll needs to be because if in our system, you can go under each driver and you can put in their rate of pay. Um, and for you guys, you go to drivers and you go in, into a driver in particular. One, you wanna make sure that they're set up as line haul, but two, if you go into wages, this particular driver, he pays a lot of his by the hour. If you wanted to, some of you pay your line haul drivers differently. There are all these different ways to pay your line haul drivers, okay? Um, again, you can do them hourly or per day or whatever the case may be for your situation, but also line haul is available in there as well. And when you do that, this email pulls in all of that information from that settlement analysis it tells you how many trips that particular driver did for that uh, that week, and this is the FedEx work week, the 8th to the 14th. So if you pay by the trip, um, if you pay by the mile, um, it will start to calculate that in here, okay? Um, it also pulls in your spots, so it tells you the driver, what spot they did, how many times, and that amount uh, spot amount and the miles that were included in that spot. So all of this information gets pulled in. Okay. And then if you are, like in this particular situation, he is doing an hourly rate um, and he does use, the drivers do use the driver app. Um, the hours do come in here. It tells you what their rate is, what their hours are, and how much you owe them for that week. So it does make it, if you've got um, all of the information in our system as far as how you pay them, it does make it easy, easier, I should say, not completely easy, but easier to put into your payroll processor and be able to pay right off of here so you don't have to do all those calculations yourself. Okay. And then it does um, give you a bit of a revenue and expenses type um, breakdown here. So it does tell you how much you made in trips, spots. He doesn't particularly do any P&D in line haul. 
um, any adjustments that particular week. He didn't have any. So it tells you his total revenue for that particular week in line hall. And it also tells you per mile how much each of those things are paying out as well. Okay. And then um, because he does put his wage, he does put his payroll in here, um, how much they're supposed to get paid, it does pull out his wages, pulls out your fuel. Um, if you are using our system to put your maintenance in, to be able to do those MMRs, um, it will pull in your line haul maintenance um, and, and pull that out. Again, it'll show you per mile what you're paying for each of these. And then any recurring payments, there are, there are ways, um, for instance, if you're paying on a truck, you can go under a truck and put in that recurring payment in there, um, and that will, it'll reflect on here um, as a recurring payment. Okay, so it pulls out total expenses, and this was what his net revenue is for us this week. Any questions about this particular email? Very quiet group today. Okay. Um, Again, if you want this email to, I mean, if you are a subscriber of ours and you do have yourself set up as line hall, you are getting the line hall settlements uploaded into our system, you have been getting these emails. Um, if you want to utilize the, the, the pay part of this email, I would just suggest making sure all your drivers are set up in the payroll area. Um, what you pay them is in there and start, you'll start seeing that show up in this um, email, okay? Do we have any other questions? Any other questions about possibly other parts of the software um, that you haven't seen before that you might have questions about use, utilizing or um, any other line hall related questions? One thing I do want to note before I let you go, if you are a line hall customer only, you want to go into this company settings and you want to uncheck P&D and just check line hall. That will make it so that when you get into the system, the line hall stuff is more prevalent than the P&D stuff, okay? Just because this particular contractor has both. Um, so when they get out of here and they go to this main screen, that toggle defaults to P&D because he has both. Um, but if if you only are line haul, you want to make sure you just check the line haul button so that way the P and D stuff doesn't come up too. Okay. All right. Well, if we don't have any other questions, again, if you have end up having some, please reach out to me. Let me know what other questions you may have. We want to make sure that if there's not something in the software or in the system that you would love to have in there, you let us know, um, and we will put it on our list of things to get in there. Um, with that in mind, if I don't talk to you guys before uh, the end of this week is coming up, have a great rest of your weekend and be safe and profitable. Thank you all for attending. We'll see you all later.